So I'm gonna be recording so that uh, for the benefit of those who are not here or yeah, or, or, or if, let's say you all need a recap or something, okay? Okay, now, so first you go to marketing resources, okay? Okay, everyone has marketing access to marketing resources, right? Does every that who doesn't have access to marketing resources in Google Drive? Everyone have a uh? oh you don't have a uh? okay okay yeah pass to oh. uh oh, what's your email? Okay, so um, okay, then go to Analytics Notes Part Three. Okay, Part Three. So if you have come for my my normal coaching event, you you realize that I would, I would say that there, there are three ways to to write your advertisement. Okay, um, I never ever write my advertisements from scratch. I always model after successful advertisements. Okay, so write this down. The first way to write a high Okay, the first way to write advertisements is uh, I cannot, maybe get a signal. Okay, the first way to write advertisements is to look at your competitors. Hey, no, no, I'm Facebook profile, correct? Okay. Let me ask you a question now. 
If let's say I were to SMS someone with my number, right, which they have never said down my number before, I SMS someone, compared to if I Facebook message someone where they can see how I look like, they can see my profile, which one are they more likely to respond to? Facebook. Okay, for example, face, a Facebook profile is more valuable than name, contact number, and email. Because number one, uh, I, I, I can know more information about them, for example, number one, more information. Okay, a few reasons. Uh. Number one, uh, I, I, I know more about them, okay? more info. Number two, they are more likely to respond. Okay? And the third reason why you want to get someone's Facebook profile instead is because is because uh, it is cheaper, okay? It's cheaper to acquire. Now, so this is the traditional way of doing. This is what every other marketer is doing, okay? And when I was running my sales and marketing agency, I did the same thing, okay? Now, why do you think I did a landing page, right? Okay, the reason why I was because, okay, I was running my sales and marketing agency. If, if I were to just charge clients to run Facebook ads, right? Maybe I can charge them $500 per month. $1,000 per month. But if I charge them that I can build a landing page for them, I can charge them $2,000, $3,000. And that's why most marketers, right, they will tell you to build a landing page or build a website because they can make more money this way. And that's why I shifted to coaching instead because I didn't feel good uh, that doing a landing page and, and not, and actually, when actually a Facebook, uh, Facebook post itself is more than enough. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's why the whole market right now, they are all doing landing page, landing page, landing page, and even you go for any skills visual course or what, they'll teach you or landing page, landing page, landing page, but I'm going to show you how to get leads from Facebook itself, okay? Now, okay, so when you get someone's name, contact number, and email on, on this one, right, it can cost you, okay, for example, to get someone's name, contact number, and email through a landing page will cost you about $10 to $30 per lead, sometimes even $80. If let's say you're selling property at time, it's about $80 per lead, okay? Because for, for, for Facebook, right, to send each click to the landing page will cost you about 60 cents. And maybe out of uh, 50 clicks, maybe only two people put their name, contact number, and email. So you spend 60 cents times 50, which is about 100, which is about $300, okay? $30. 60 cents times 250, about $30, right, to get one, one contact, right? That's if you do name, contact number, and email. Whereas if you if you do on Facebook itself, right, per like will only cost you uh, thirty cents to sixty cents, or, or maximum two dollars maximum. So would you rather pay two dollars to get someone's Facebook profile, or would you rather pay ten to thirty dollars to get someone's name, contact number, and email? Which one? Two dollars to get someone's name, Facebook profile. Okay. So okay, write write all these down first. So, so here's the thing, uh, I, I could share with you everything about Facebook, like for example, uh, how to do retargeting, how to set up your pixel on your landing page, okay, like Facebook, right, got a lot of very complicated stuff, for example, how to set up your pixel on your landing page so that this pixel can track uh, which, which traffic went to this landing page, etc., right? But if I were to just do a simple way, where, where whatever I was going to write on my landing page, right, I just do it directly on this Facebook post, and then whoever likes or comments on the Facebook post, right, I will Facebook message them, okay? So this is the, the Facebook post. So, I, so instead of bringing them from a Facebook to a landing page, what I do is that I keep the traffic on Facebook itself, okay? So, um, okay, what do you want to say? Okay, now, so the reason why Facebook likes this better, right, is because Facebook does not like to channel traffic away from Facebook. Facebook likes to keep traffic inside Facebook. They like to keep the attention inside Facebook. It's like Amazon. Amazon doesn't like to channel traffic away from, Facebook, uh, from Amazon, right? Because it's like, why would people channel traffic away from their platform? So what we need to do is we play by Facebook's game, okay? We need to play by Facebook game, and we keep the traffic within Facebook itself, okay? So um, I could teach you all the what pixel, uh, how to set up a pixel, how to do auto retargeting, how to do custom audiences and all that, right? But it won't, it won't, uh, it won't really matter because if they are doing, if they are just doing these Facebook posts, right? You don't need to learn all that. We all want to learn things the simple way or the hard way. Simple, simple way. So I'm, I'm here to show you the simple way. Okay. 
I'm not an IT person, I'm not a Facebook person, I am a marketer, I am an entrepreneur. I just choose Facebook as my platform to make money. That's all. Does that make sense? Right? Means uh yeah, I'm not an IT programmer, right? You ask me to set up projector smart things I know how to do, right? But one thing I know how to do is I know how to write copy that makes money, I know how to sell something through Facebook, I know how to sell through these platforms, okay? Now, so um okay, so the first thing I need to show you is how to design your your pictures, okay? Now if let's say you are an agent, right? Probably your company should give you pictures to market, right? Hopefully, okay. If let's say you are already in any industry, right? Hopefully your company already gives you pictures to market, rather than you have to take pictures yourself and all that, right? Because I'll just market okay now. But if let's say you want to improve your pictures, okay, write this down. Canva.com. Okay, go to Canva.com. Uh, pictures, huh? Go to. C A N B A dot C O N. Okay. Now, so this Canva dot com is where you can. Okay. So you just log in. You just log in. So this is where you can. That everything right is drag and drop, which means you do not need to install any software. This is a completely free tool. Okay. So you can do something like uh, let's say, let's say I. Let's say okay, you can press create a design, then you can press Facebook ad, okay, Facebook ad. Then they will give you all the templates, right, on how to run your advertisements. So for example, I can just take this over here, I drag and drop. Okay, I can edit the text, okay? I can edit the text uh seven seven recipes, let's say, okay. Uh, I can I can edit everything. Okay, it's very intuitive. Okay, it's very it's, it's, it's very simple. Drag and drop. Uh, the image, right? Let's say if I have a property image or something, I can put a property image or what. If let's say I have a chiropractic clinic, I can put a uh, my picture of my chiropractic practice clinic and all that. If let's say I'm selling coaching services or I'm hi. Uh, so no matter what, I can just put my I can put an image over there. Okay. So Canva.com. Canva.com. Right. It's now Canva.com. So, okay, one image that I realize works the best is an image that looks like that. So because I've done all the testing for you, you do not need to test everything yourself. An image that looks like that is the best, okay? Uh, this kind of images, okay? This kind of images where, where the left side is a picture, the right side is a, is a little bit of text, okay? Uh, this kind of pictures. Left side is a picture, right side is a little bit of text. This kind of pictures. Left, left side text, right side, but like basically the kind of uh, image that I realize works the best is is this kind of images. Uh. You do like that, okay? Over here is your picture, picture, and then here's a bit of words. Okay? Now take note that your words, right, must not be more than 20% of the whole image. If not, Facebook will not show your advertisement. Okay? Words must be less than 20%. Okay. Facebook doesn't want your image to have too many words. You, your words must be less than twenty percent. So just a little bit of words will do. Okay. So this kind of uh, this kind of image right works the best. Okay. Okay. Now, well, in terms of dimensions of the image. Uh, okay. When you go to Canva.com and you click Facebook ad, right, the di di dimensions are correctly for Facebook ad. Oh, but if you have all images. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Let me. Uh, one two zero. Okay, the pixel size is one two zero zero times six two eight. Right, it's not one two zero zero times six two eight. That's the the image. Yeah, question. One two zero two. Up there, he's saying the word on the left side. It could be left or right, lah. But basically, uh, the the image, right? Picture here, words here, or words here, pictures here. But like, little bit, lah. Okay. Yeah. So at least people know what your offer is. At least you're looking at words, right? So if they see through your ad, they'll know what's up. One two zero zero times six two eight. A bit technical, but yeah. It's actually, everything is very intuitive. You all can learn Facebook right within three hours. Okay, can learn okay. The hard part about, okay, write this down. The hard part about marketing is not the IT part of marketing. The hard part about marketing is how you write the copy, how you select the audience, how you do your advertisement, all that kind of stuff. 
Okay. 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 Can I move on? Okay. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to edit your videos, let's say you have a video you want to edit, right? These are the apps that I normally use, ah. Uh. Either number one, if you are using an iPhone, you can use iMovie. It's probably a free app, or at the most, I think you pay six dollars for this app. Okay. It's probably free. Okay. If you buy an iPhone, you probably have this iMovie. If you are using iPhone. Okay. Now. The other app you can use is this thing called Viva Video. Viva Video. Viva Video. Okay. So we're gonna experiment with this. These are uh, for 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 video creation. Okay. Hi. Uh. Yeah, maybe you can grab a stool. Uh, maybe you can grab a stool. Okay. So, this is how you write the ads. Uh. Uh, okay, what's next? Okay. So, how to public... Okay, if you want to run advertisements, right, you will need to have a Facebook page to run advertisements. Okay, this one is... Okay, I think I said a few times before. You must have a Facebook page to run advertisements. You cannot run advertisements with a Facebook profile. Okay? You cannot run advertisements with a Facebook profile. And uh, okay, so very simple to run advertisement. Okay, three steps. Step one, boost post. Step two, select budget and schedule. And step three. Step one, boost post. Step two, select budget and schedule. Step three, step, step two, select audience. Step three, select budget and schedule. Sorry. Okay. Step one, boost post. Step two, select audience. Step three, select budget. Actually. Okay, this one I I I have been through with every single preview that I've done, right? So, uh, okay. I'll just do it one more time. So today, right? I won't be showing you how to generate a uh, okay. Okay. Now, 
Then show fire headlines. Uh, who else wants a higher paying job? Who else wants to make more money? Who else wants to be financially free? Who else wants to own multiple properties before you retire? You know? Yeah. Um, the secret of something, the secret of successful podcasting, the secret of uh, leveraging the banks to own real estate, the, the secret of uh, back, like uh, solving your back problems, etc. Okay? Um, here's a method that is helping something to something. Okay? Uh, here's a method that is helping homeowners to retire sooner. Little known ways to something. Little known ways to lose weight quickly and safely. Okay? Get rid of what once and for all. Get rid of your unproductive work habits once and for all. Here's a quick way to get over a cold. Here's a quick way to something. Okay? Um, now you can have what and what. Now you can quit your job and make even more money. Something like something. They okay? speak Spanish like a diplomat, party like Paris Hilton, etc. Okay, uh, something you can be proud of here now. Do you agree that if I give you all these headlines, it's gonna make it very easy for you to run any advertisement? It's gonna give you a lot of inspiration that you can you can just take any of these lines and it's, it's proven to work. Okay, these these lines are compiled by the top copywriters from all over the world, right? Who have ten or twenty years of experience, and and instead of creating our headline from scratch and having to test everything, right? When we model after this, right? We Know we can know for sure that this will be successful. Make sense? Yeah. So um, something you can have a body you can be proud of. Write a book you can be proud of. Okay. What everyone ought to know about something. What everyone ought to know about Facebook marketing. Okay. Headlines. Direct headlines. Pure silk blouses. Thirty percent off. Indirect headlines. Uh, fresh bed works best. Okay. Even if it has nothing to do with uh, fishing. Okay. News headline. Uh, question headline. Gotten a speed, speeding ticket lately. Okay. Uh, feeling pain in your back lately. Read this, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. Command headline, reasons why, 200 reasons why open source software beats Microsoft. Seven reasons why uh, investing in a private property is better than a HDB. Seven reasons why uh, buying a S, S, S series car is better than whatever, right? Okay, um, list, okay, example, eight ways to build block traffic, testimonial. I read copy blogging first thing in the morning. It says Angelina go to Jolie. So your headline can be something like that as well. Okay? Uh, attention grammar headlines. Give me what and I'll give you what. If you don't what now, you'll hate yourself later. Like if you don't if you don't look for property now, you'll, you'll hate yourself later. If you don't plan for your retirement now, you'll hate yourself later. Okay, so maybe, uh, the lazy what way to what? Okay, the lazy man's way to riches, the lazy man's way to copywriting, the lazy man's way to marketing. Okay? Uh, do you recognize the seven early warning signs of internet and addiction. See how easily you can something something. See how easily you can learn dancing. Or you don't have to be what to be what. You don't have to be a geek to make money online. You don't have to be uh uh you don't have to be experienced to be a good marketer. You don't have to be an IT person to learn Facebook ads. You know something like that. Okay? Do you make these mistakes? Ah then you write the, the mistakes down, okay? Like oh uh do you make these mistakes or when you sit down, the posture, this kind of stuff, right? Uh, do you make these mistakes? Warning yeah. okay. something. How something made me something. How a full stunt made me a star salesman. How uh, learning from a coach made me a better marketer. How, you know, yeah. are you something? Okay. How many ways to something? 21 ways to cope with stress. If you are what, you can what, okay? okay. okay. So, uh, this uh, okay. you know, so let's create a headline that is less than eight words. Okay, write this down. Create a headline that is less than eight words. Ninety-five percent of the top headlines were normally eight words or less. Ninety-five percent of the top headlines were not. You're leaving, is it, or they are going toilet? Or? Okay, okay. Uh, talk about benefits instead of features. Okay. Use stories. If you sell something, people can be skeptical about a fact, but they can't be skeptical about a story. For example, let's say I say uh, Facebook marketing is effective. Okay, okay. Why must you okay, write this down? Always use stories when you sell. Right, write this down. Facts tell, stories sell. The reason why is this: uh, if let's say I say Facebook marketing is effective, that is, if let's say I tell you a fact like that, right? You, it might, it might cause resistance in your mind. Like, hey, are you sure Facebook marketing is effective? Okay, but if let's say I came, I came up with a story and I said. Oh, um, let me share you a story, okay? There was once I was uh, launching my advertisements and all that, and I realized with two Facebook posts, I raised $30,000, right? So, you cannot, you cannot, uh, because this is my story, you cannot 
uh, resist my story. But if I were to tell you it's a fact that oh, Facebook marketing is effective, then uh, it's a fact. Okay? That's why stories work way better than, than facts. Okay, 90% fat free works better than 10% fat, right? 90% of people survive one month after the surgery is better than 10% of people die, okay? Uh, uh, play the devil's advocate, think what would someone skeptical think and debunk that in your copy itself. Make them feel something, imagine if something, and vision yourself in a villa at JB, or something like that, right? Uh, play, okay, so play copy, story, then copy, etc. Now, I'm going to give you Okay, let's, let's start with a simple framework, okay? Okay, to, to make things simple, we start with a basic framework, okay? Okay, so write these five types of ads down. Number one, personal ads. Number two, testimonial ads. Number three, value ads. Number four, pitch or conversion ads. And number five, book ads. Okay, write these five types of ads down. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to write each ad. Uh, Personal ads, testimonial ads, hello. Uh, yeah, I think grab a stool. Okay, great. Okay, right, this one. So, personal ads, testimonial ads, value ads. I'll explain each one later. Pitch of conversion ads, and then book ads. Oh. So, okay, personal ads, okay, you see, uh, last time when I was doing network marketing, right, I never, ever, ever say that I was doing network marketing, okay? I will always say I'm an entrepreneur, right? And I meet people up for coffee, and then only I will reveal that, oh, actually, I'm a marketer as well, okay? Right, and say, uh, actually, I'm doing, I mean, this entrepreneurship platform as well. Okay, right, so there are two ways that you can position yourself. The first way is to go very ninja, okay? So, for example, uh, if I'm a property agent, I won't say that I'm a property agent on my Facebook profile. I'll just say I'm an entrepreneur or something. Only when I meet the person up for coffee, then only I'll share with them that uh, I'm, a, I'm a property agent, okay? So for example, Clara. Okay? Who, who here knows who's Clara? You know Clara, right? Hey, raise your hand you know Clara. Anyone knows Clara? Clara, one, two. Clara, you know Clara, right? You know Clara? You know Clara? The prop next one. Okay. I think prop next is very big, so a lot of people. Clara, hey, yeah. Clara, hey, okay. Now, so what she did was this, uh, I told her, uh, okay, she's an actress, and she used to be a media corp actress, and she's a property agent at the same time, okay? So I told her, how about this? You, do, you don't say that you're a property agent, okay? So she positioned herself as an actress first, okay? So we texted 15 people together, and six people replied. Out of six people replied, she got about three to four appointments, just from six people replying, okay? Just by following the upload method, which I've gone through in my previous coaching before. Uh, next time I'll go through another coaching, today I'll focus on Facebook ads, okay? Um, so what she did was she text the people, right? And and out of these people, right? After she did the consultation process and everything, okay, write this out. If you are a salesman, right? Okay, there are, there are two types of salespeople. Okay? The first type of salespeople right, are transactional salespeople. Okay. The second type of salesperson is transformational salespeople. Okay. Let me get an example. Okay. If you are trans okay, let's say people walk into a shop, they want to buy a, a screw, a screwdriver, and then they just go and buy the screwdriver, and you are the person at the cashier, okay? Did you do, did you do anything to influence the sale? Right. How much are cashiers normally paid per hour? $7 per hour, $8 per hour, okay? Okay, right, now, if you are a transactional salesperson, you always make $7 per hour, $8 per hour, okay? Per hour. Because your job is a transactional job, okay? You, you, there's no value add. Your only value add, right, is to people pass you money, you give them a receipt. That's your job, okay? So if you're a transactional salesperson, you'll always make $7, $8 per hour. But if you're a transformational salesperson, which means the person did not know that they needed this, but because you talked to them and you made them realize that they actually needed it, right? Uh, this kind of people, right, they make 1K per hour, 2K per hour. Make sense? So for example, last time I do network marketing, right? Before people meet me, right, they didn't know that they need a make to measure shirt. But after they meet me, I can sell two make to measure shirts for $431, right? That means I'm not a transactional salesperson. Eh? I'm a transformational salesperson. And I'm paid the way a transformational salesperson is paid. 
if let's say someone approach me, if let's say someone approach me, go for my mom's health talk, right? But they didn't know that they needed to buy a sleeping system. But after her health talk, they buy a sleeping system, $3,000 for a sleeping system, or they go for therapy, $80 for therapy. Is she a transactional salesperson or a transformational salesperson? Transformational, yeah? Do you see why she can make $13,000 in three hours? Because she's a transformational salesperson, she's not a transactional salesperson, okay? If let's say you advertise, like, like, like I, okay, so the first way to advertise your ads, right, is to advertise your product directly. So for example, I straight away I advertise my product, I say that, uh, I say that, uh, okay, I'm advertising this property straight away, or I advertise uh, my coaching services straight away, right? That's the first way to do it. But the second way to do it is to advertise a different thing, right? Uh, a different hook that people meet you, right? And then they didn't know that they needed to, they didn't know that they could afford another property, or they didn't know that they could buy this property, right? But because you talk to them and you run through your budget with them, then they realize that, hey, actually, uh, I can turn my HDB into a condominium. Actually, I can upgrade my, my or I, actually, I can upgrade my condominium and, and, and free up some free cash flow or something like that. Does that make sense? So then you'll be paid like a transformation service, okay? So the first way to sell is to go very uh, open about it and say that, oh, I am a property agent, I am a network marketer, I am an insurance agent, okay? The second way to do it is to go very ninja, means you don't let people know you're a network marketer, you don't let people know you're an insurance agent, you don't let people know you're a property agent, and when they meet you up for copy, then you share with them that, hey, do you know that, based on what you have said, uh, actually you can do this, 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 okay? Now, so there's no right, no wrong, both ways work, right? There are people who are very open about it, who what their business is, and they make a lot of money. There are also people who are very ninja, and they make a lot of money, okay? So there's no right, no wrong. Like for me now, I'm very open that I'm a Facebook trader. Okay, I, I don't go ninja on it. Uh, yeah, so, so it depends on what, what, what's the positioning you want to look at. Okay, so maybe you want to write down whether you want to be a ninja salesperson, right? So you don't let people know what you are doing until you meet them up for coffee, then you share them what you are doing. Or you can write down whether you want to be a, a transformation, uh, you want to be uh, open about it and let people know, oh, actually, this is your product. So, so when you run ads, right? Okay, the first thing is to run personal ads. Okay, so this is how you write a personal ad. Uh. You do an ad that looks like that. Uh. I had a dream. I had a struggle. I found a solution. Here I am now. So, for example, I will say, okay, since young, I want to learn how to make money, right? And I've been exploring every single way to make money. I've been exploring e-commerce. I've been exploring sales. I've been exploring cold calling. I've been exploring every single way to make money. And then I. It was only after I discovered Facebook marketing that I realized that it actually, once I learned Facebook marketing right, making money becomes a formula. Okay, once I mastered Facebook marketing right, making money becomes a formula. And and because of that, now I'm able to generate 10 to 20k or even 30k to 40k per month just by learning Facebook marketing. Make sense? So 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 this is the way. Okay, now so let's take the next um, 20 minutes. Okay, let's take the next 20 minutes to design a personal ad for yourself. So for example, if I'm a property agent, I can say something like, um, uh, I, I always wish to have a property that is fully paid off so that I do not need to pay my, my I, I do not need to pay my mortgage ever again, right? And I always had this struggle because the, the income I made was never enough to do this, right? And then I found a solution. I realized that hey, actually I can free up some cash flow, I can, I, I can do this, 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 that. I don't know what property agents can do, right? Maybe you can like rent out one room or I don't know how to pay your structure or something like that. And then, uh, because of that, now I got a lot more freedom because of something, 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 okay? So for example, if let's say I'm doing uh, chiropractic, I would say something like, uh, okay, so I, since young, I, 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 I don't like to be in pain, right? And um, I had a dream that if I could help everyone not have any back pain and all that, right? That means that that, that will make my life, uh, okay, awesome. I had a dream, I had a struggle, I found a solution, okay. So, um, okay, how about this? Okay, you can do something like that. Uh. It could be you, you could use you could use you, you could use a testimonial. So you can say, okay, I have this athlete, okay? I have this athlete that uh, all the while wanted to uh, be at the top of their game. Okay? But here's the thing, every time they did their sport, right, they realize that they have a little, like there's a, a, a bit of pain and that hindered them from performing at the highest level. And then I found the solution, right? I, and, and they found a the solution. Not I, they found a solution, right, which is uh, chiropractic, and then here they are now, okay? 
okay, so that can be something like a testimonial ad. Okay, you can write one of my brother. Maybe one of your clients that have okay, hopefully I give you a haha. Okay, uh, if let's say I'm doing network marketing, you can say something like, uh, I, I had a dream that uh, I, want, I wanted to join a platform, I, I, I had a dream, uh, I was looking, okay, I had a dream that I wanted to learn how to be financially free and have enough money to provide for my family. I had a struggle, uh, I had a struggle, I, I've been looking for different ways to uh, make money, right? Uh, I've tried working a job before, I've tried setting up my own business which cost me a lot of money, I've tried all kinds of ways, e-commerce, online, etc. And then I realized that the best way and the most efficient way is if I were to buy a franchise of a system, okay? And, uh, something like that. and then um, because of buying this franchise, now I have my own business, I am an entrepreneur, etc. Okay? Now, so let's take the next 20 minutes to write a personal ad, okay? So I'll give you 20 minutes to write a personal ad. I'll be over here to ask, answer questions. So maybe after you've done your ad, you ask me to review, and then we can review the whole class, and then, uh, and then, yeah, we can learn from each other. Okay, got it? Would that be cool? No, 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 no. 20% of your your image or words. But this is the text. Okay, you see uh, okay, here. Okay. You see, let's say you go to Facebook. Okay, you see this one? You see this one? Uh, this is the image, right? This is the words. Now I'm we are doing the words together. Make sense? These are the words. Then this is the headline. This is the button. Yeah, that's all. Let me get one more. Okay, let's say you see this one. Huh? It's a sponsored post, right? Okay. okay. How to know whether it's an ad or not? You just see sponsored. Sponsored means it's an ad. Okay? Now, so this is the words, correct? This is the picture. Less than 20% is words, correct? Less than 20% of these pictures are words. And then this is the headline. This is the sign up. Okay? Now, let's say you look at Ty Lopez. Say so you click Ty, Ty Lopez, you click Info and Ads. So you can see that he write very long copy. Okay? He write very long copy. This is his video. Okay? So this also very long copy. This is, the, this is the video. So now I'm showing you how to write a copy. Make sense? Okay, no? And so long as you, use, you follow this framework, right, it, it definitely works out. So don't reinvent the wheel. Don't try to write your copy from scratch. Take a template that works, okay? It has been proven by the top marketers all over the world, right? Then just use it, uh, you know? So we take the top template that works, right? And then we write an uh, advertisement based on that. Okay? So for example, if I say I'm a, yeah, yeah, okay? Password. Uh, guest at 3050. So let's do all it, uh, let's do all of it together. Okay, let's spend the, okay, we got about fifteen minutes left. Let's spend the next fifteen minutes to write down uh okay, just write the four things first, okay? Just write the four things first, huh? Um I had a dream, I had a struggle, I found a solution, here I am now. Okay, how about this? How about this? Okay, I, because I understand that some of you might not need a personal ad. And some okay, how about this? Okay, I will go through all the types of ads that you can run, okay? I'll go through all the types of the ads that you can run, and then you we'll, and then we'll just have a free flow time where you do three to five ads based on whatever I share with you. Okay? okay nah? So okay, the second type of ads you do is your testimonial ads. So it's the same thing, it's like I had a dream and all that, just that it is for your client's perspective. Okay? Or you could say like you can put all the video testimonials of all your clients and say that uh, after like they 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 they, uh, they were struggling to sell their property. But after they met you, right, because you have learned Facebook marketing and all that kind of stuff, or after they have met you because uh, you have a quite wide network of buyers, right, you were able to sell their, uh, their property very easily. So they had a dream, their dream is to sell their property, right? They had a struggle, so they couldn't sell their property. They, you found a solution which is to engage your service, and then here I am now, uh, here they are now, uh, they have successfully sold their property within six weeks. Now, something like that. So if you have a testimony of a client, that would be good, okay? okay. The next type of ad you can do is value ads. So seven tips for something. How to do something without something. Okay? How to do something without something. Seven tips for something. So I, I could do like a, like a uh, I can do a maybe a seven tips on how to run effective Facebook marketing campaigns. Okay? So I give the seven tips track. Right? Then whoever like my post, whoever like my post, 
I will talk to the true Facebook messenger and say, hey, thanks for liking my post. Anyway, nice to meet you, what do you do? And then I'll talk to them, meet them up for your appointment, and then sell them my coaching services. Okay? If let's say I'm a chiropractor, I'll do seven things to add a lesser back pain. Okay? Right? So after I do the seven things to have lesser back pain, and if they like my post, I will text them and say, hi, nice to meet you, what do you do? Or I'll talk to them, right? And then I'll meet, I'll say, hey, how, how about this? Uh, why not you come for a free consultation? Let, let's meet up, okay? I can give you a free consultation. Or I, okay, you see, okay, here's the thing, uh, consultation, right? Okay. As a coach, okay, okay, I just say, say this from the perspective as a coach, but you can apply for your business as well, okay? okay write this down. I never ever give free coaching. Write this down. I never ever give free coaching. I never ever give free coaching. So, okay, the mistake a lot of coaches make, right, is that they like to give free coaching. So they say, uh, okay, I give you one hour of free coaching, right? If you like my coaching, right, uh, then you buy another, you buy my package, uh, 10 hours of coaching for $800 plus something like that, okay? Now, write this down. The reason why you do not ever want to give free coaching is because when you give one hour of coaching for free, the person will feel that, hey, I just got your hour of coaching for free, why should I pay for your coaching anymore? Does that make sense? So you never want to give free coaching. Instead, what I do is a consultation. I do not do a free coaching, I do a free consultation. So a consultation is the five steps, okay? okay. For those of you who have come on my coaching before, what are the five steps? The first step, what are the five questions? Okay, you can refer to your notes. Can you go and refer to your notes? What are the five questions? Where are you? What, sorry? No, that's the that's the second one. First one? Where do you want to be? What's the result you want to have, okay? So, yeah, I just I just show you here. Okay, you must memorize this by heart, okay? You must memorize this by heart. Because whatever I'm going to show you, right, I can present it in different ways, right? But it always goes back to the same framework, okay? It always goes back to the same framework. And the reason why you always want to have a framework is because the moment you follow this framework, right, whatever I share is just the meat. This is the structure, the bones, right? Once you have the bones right, right, I can just keep adding meat, right? And that will make you even better, okay? So, okay. These are the five questions. Okay, write these five questions out. Uh, where do you want to be? Where are you right now? Obstacles preventing you from getting there? Biggest pain about staying where you are now? On a scale of 1 to 10, how willing are you to get to the desire? So for example, I will not give people a free uh, back, uh, um, a free like, uh, sorry? Yeah, I won't give people a free adjustment. Instead, what I'll do is I'll give people a free consultation. So I'll ask them, okay, so uh, where do you want to be? Means like, uh, uh, like, like, oh, they want to be pain free and all that, right? Where are they right now? Or oh, right now, they have pain on their lower back. Uh, what's the obstacles preventing them from getting there? Is it like, uh, you can ask them about their lifestyle and all that, right? So I say, oh, this is it, right? And then, what's the biggest pain about staying where you are right now? Oh, the biggest pain is that every night before I sleep, I cannot sleep, okay? And then, on a scale of 1 to 10, how willing are you to get to that desired result, okay? Then, once they say that, right, then I'll say, awesome, based on what you have said, I know exactly the solution for you. Is it okay if I share with you? Okay? So I have this package called the one, right? and if you sign up today, right, I'll give you today's session for free, I'll give you a free adjustment today, and you just have to sign up 10 packages, uh, 10 sessions for $880. You get me? So I do not do a free adjustment for them, but I do a free consultation for them. You see the difference? There's no need to do a free adjustment for them. They must pay for your adjustment. Because if you do a free adjustment for them, they will feel that, hey, it did, then I just have to go to each chiropractic clinic and get a free adjustment each time, right? Now I never have to pay for chiropractic services. If I can get a free coaching session from you, I just have to go for different coaches each time, and I never have to pay. Like, if I just got this one hour of your time for free, why do you have to pay for another hour of your time? Do you get what I mean? So never give free coaching, free what? But you can give a free consultation. A consultation does not solve your problem. A consultation is just like to find out. Okay, write this down. The best salespeople are not the people the best salespeople are doctors, okay? Right, it's not the best salespeople are doctors. When we go to a doctor with a headache and they say, we need to eat 10 panadols, we don't argue with them and ask them, uh, doctor, can I eat 8 instead, right? We will say, the, it, we, we will just eat 10 panadols, right? If we ask, if we go, we got headache, right? We go to the, the doctor, they say, uh, uh, I got headache. They'll tell you, oh, you need 10 panadols. You won't say, hey, doctor, can I eat 8 panadols, right? So same thing, right? Right, it's not the best salespeople do not convince. The best sales will they diagnose and prescribe. The best, so once once you tell me that you have headache, right? 
I do not need to convince you that you need Panadol. I don't need to tell you what is inside a Panadol, what is the ingredients inside a Panadol. I don't need to tell you all that. I just say, oh, you got pain, headache, right? Uh, based on the five questions that you say, I, this is your situation, right? Okay, based on this, right? And coming from an expert's advice, right? I believe that this product is the best product. Then I don't need to convince them anymore. I prescribe. Okay? So don't convince people. So don't convince people why they need to buy this property. Oh, this one got five rooms, got five rooms, blah, blah, blah. No need one. Just say, based on what you say, right? Based on the ca your ca current cash flow situation, based on your on where you want to be and all that, right? I have a perfect property for you, okay? I got property issue with that, and I believe that this is the best for you, okay? Why don't you come to my show flat uh, this coming week and have a look? Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Yeah. Yes, uh, okay, good. So, um, right, okay, that has ever written the five questions now? Okay, none, 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 none. Okay. Okay. So, okay, let me move back to the ads. Uh. Okay. So, the third type of ads you write is the value ad. So, for example, I got this uh, friend who is also from Cognex, okay, his name is Chong, Chong Ku. What he does, right, is he always, uh, he'll write, uh, okay, uh, he'll, he'll write an ad, for example, uh, what is A, B, S, D, and what does it mean to you? Then he'll talk about ABSD and all that kind of stuff. Okay? Then he will get about 400 likes on his post. Okay, we will agree that if 400 people like your post, it's as good as having 400 leads. We agree? Yes. We agree that I'd rather have 400 people who like my post than get 400 name, contact number, and email. We agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? So he will get the name, contact number, and email, and then he will uh, talk to them through Facebook Messenger. Hey, thanks for liking my post regarding ABSD. 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 Yes. ABSD. And uh, uh, nice to meet you. What do you do? Then you talk to them, right? And then you'll meet them up for coffee. And then you'll, then you'll do a consultation process on them based on what, uh, what, what they require, right? And then you say, hey, based on what you say, right? Actually, congrats, I got good news for you. Actually, you can uh, upgrade with this. Uh, you know? okay. Got it? So, uh, the third type of ads is called value ads, okay? Okay, the fourth type of ads is called pitch ads. Okay, now this pitch ad is, is I learned this from JT Fox, okay? JT Fox is one of the worst, one of our coach. Okay, so this is what you do, uh. okay? Um, First, first one is your attention grabber. Okay, how to get your attention grabber? You go, you scroll up back to the headlines, right? You scroll up back to the headlines. All these are all your attention grabbers that you can use. Okay, so your first, your first line is your attention grabber. Your second line will be why listen to me. Okay, so like your credibility and all that. The third line is why believe what I have to say. So show your testimonials before, or after branding by association. Trump. Fourth line is proof that it is true. Fifth line is list all the benefits. Okay. Sixth line is call to action. Like this, okay, your call to action will be like this post or comment. I am keen if you are interested. And then the seventh line is why now. Okay. I give an example. Huh? Okay. I have this guy who's a network marketer. Your business, 
and I have all this information. Like, okay, like that's this uh, the medicine store, right? <coughs> so as a doctor, right, my role is to say, okay, based on your business, right, you need this this document. You watch this document. You watch this video. Uh. So my role is not to, to give you even more information. I don't need to give you all the medicine. But my role, right, as a coach, right, is to say, okay, based on your business, based on your situation, this is what you need at this point in time. Sense? You want to raise capital, you want to read this. If you want to uh, get buyers, read this. If you want to learn how to run Facebook ads, read this. Okay? okay, so this guy is a network marketer. Okay, okay now this is how, how I position him. Uh. Okay, so okay, I posted this post. Uh. Okay, now. So what I do right, is that I don't say that he's a network marketer. I position him as a business consultant. Okay? So you say, take a friend who wants to grow their business. How to grow and explore your business in the next 180 days with a custom blueprint design specially for your business. Hi, this is Derek Chiu. I'm a serial entrepreneur and international coach and, and speaker and a world class business consultant. Okay, now, uh, okay, remember the pitch. Okay, what's the attention grabber? Uh, how to grow and explore your business, correct? This is the attention grabber. True? Yes? Yes, yes. yes okay. Now, um, so, uh, why listen to me? Wait, uh. Do you see this or why listen to me? They spend. Okay, I just read to you this whole post. Uh. Hi, this is Derek Chiu. I'm a serial entrepreneur, an international coach and speaker, and a world-class business consultant. One of the things I do very well is to find the bottlenecks in any business and fix them. From all the businesses I've observed, I realize that the main reason why entrepreneurs do not succeed is because of blind spots in their business that they cannot see. They spend long hours working in their business instead of on their business. This is why they need a third person's perspective for their business in order to fix those blind spots. I've helped many businesses from many industries ranging from wellness to finance to F&B and many others. The business and marketing blueprint is my signature product and, F and uh and it has never failed me before. I'm so confident about this that I'm offering a 100% money back guarantee should there be no results after six months. If you'd like to grow your business and take it, take it to the next level, comment, I am key in the comments down below. Alternatively, you may contact me at what, right? So I do his face, and then I put the, put the text like that, okay? And then um, there were 193 likes, correct? Okay, will you agree if that there are 193 likes, it means that there were 193 leads who saw the post, will you agree? Yes. So what he do is he just Facebook message those things, okay? And instead of having to spend so much money to build a landing page, right? To channel the Facebook traffic to a landing page and then get a new contact number and email, what he do is he take whatever he was going to put on the landing page, he put onto this Facebook post, and whoever liked the post, he talked to them, and, and he was getting appointments at $5 for $5 dollars per appointment, okay? Now, if you know about this, right, in the whole industry, right, this is super cheap results, okay? I know of insurance agents that pay $120 per lead. Okay? Per lead. It's just to get someone's name, contact number, and email, they pay $120 per lead. And out of the out of maybe 30 leads that, that, that agency gave to them, right? Only one person they met for an appointment. So basically they paid four thousand dollars for an appointment. But if you do it this way, it costs you maybe 50, uh, 50 cents per lead and maybe less than five dollars or less than five fifteen dollars per appointment. Okay? Yeah. So uh, the reason why the, the marketing agency sell them at $120 per lead is because the cost price for the marketing agency to get that lead is about $30. So they needed to make another four times of the of the of the profit margin. Does that make sense? So they sold $120 per lead. And that insurance company from AXA still buy, you know. <laughs> but yeah. So so uh, uh, what you don't know will cost you a lot of money. Okay, if you don't know it, it will, it will cost you a lot of money. Or if you learn from the wrong people, it will cost you a lot of money. Okay? Um, so so that's how that's how I ran this this pitch ad. Okay? So now that's how you do a pitch ad. Okay? We saw the benefits, right? Call to action, like this post or comment, and keep you interested, and why now? Why you need to uh pay now? Okay? Now, um the last one is this thing called uh, book ads. Okay, if let's say you already write your own book, which you learn in the two-day course how to write your own book. Um how many of you are going for a two-day course? Raise your hand. One, two, three. Okay. So about half the room. Okay. Now for those of you who who are thinking of going for a two-day course, right? Uh, yeah, you just approach me, and then uh, the next two-day course is 13 and 14 October, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right, it's down. 13 and 14 October, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. If not, it'll be November. I I'll let y'all know the date in November. I'll do it for like once every month, okay? And uh, if let's say, for example, let's say you went for $500 for three hours of coaching or something, right? And you want to upgrade it to a two-day course, you just have to top up the difference. Means if let's say the two-day course is 1980, right? So let's say pay 500, right? You just have to top up 1480 to go for the two-day course. Got it? Yeah. Okay. So if you go for the two-day course, you learn how to do book ads, uh, introducing your book, encourage people to like and comment if they want their copy, even those who want their copy, pass on a physical book, and then, yeah. Okay. 
uh, uh, you have already done your book, right? So this is something you can do. So you say, you, you, you put your book there, you put the title of your book, everything, right? Hey guys, I just launched my book, etc. Then you do a pitch ad, okay? Uh, attention grabber. Why, 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 why should people want to download this book? Let's say you're giving away free copies, right? Uh, uh, like this post or comment, I'm keen if you want, right? Then whoever like your post, right? You talk to them on Facebook, you Facebook message them, use the follow method, the script that I use, right? To meet them up for a copy, and then give them the book, and then at the same time, ask them, hey, you want, you want to be my partner, you want to be my affiliate, you want to whatever. Or you want to, you want, are you looking for values as well? Are you, yeah, okay? Yeah. So I've given you uh, five five frameworks okay that you can use, and uh, let's let's take the next okay, okay before we begin okay let's uh, everyone please stand up okay let's give each other a quick massage is that okay I realize some people get a little sleepy and stuff right? okay everyone please stand up okay uh, okay so maybe you can turn to okay, everyone face that side everyone face that side everyone face that side everyone face that side and massage the person in front of you okay ready go 